are in chronic exertional compartment syndrome land and nerve entrapment land, I promised I would produce a video to show anyone who uh, was wondering where nerve entrapments occur in the lower leg, uh, the confusion being between chronic compartment syndrome and nerve entrapment or both, there's definitely an overlap of the two. And I just want to show you a real quick exam that I do when I'm looking for nerve entrapment. So you people who are in other parts of the world can either have your doctor poke on these areas or you can have someone else do it for you. I don't think you should necessarily do it to yourself, but if you have no other choice, it might be the only option for you. So this lovely handsome man here has decided to allow me to be my leg model. So Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> So we're gonna, what I like to do first when I'm looking up top here for the common fibular nerve is I like to have the patient bend their knee. Now very often, people who've had knee surgery like this gentleman, um, they can get a lot of problems around there that create scar tissue around the nerve during the surgery, after the surgery, or from a fall in his case. So you gotta check this nerve. Now here I've drawn a circle that gives the head of the fibula, generally, and here's the tibial tuberosity here. Tibial tuberosity is typically where the nerve will kind of run. Uh, so you use the head of the fibula, and this is the common fibular nerve right here. Now the common fibular nerve, when we press on there and poke in there, you, you could see he's making a face. Let's show that face when I press. Yay. Yeah, he doesn't like that. So his nerve is probably a problem there. Now, if we flip to the other side, over here, where we have the tibial nerve, or soleal sling, which I talk about very much. Uh, again, I like to test with the knee bent. So we'll, we'll kind of squeeze in here, and he probably won't like that either. No, I don't. Yeah, he doesn't like that either, because usually people have both of these as a problem, especially after knee surgery. So that's where you test for soleal sling. You just kind of dig your fingers in there and push, and he, he doesn't like that again, so I'm not gonna do it again. Now the superficial fibular nerve, which is right here, typically somewhere about 10 to 12 centimeters above the ankle. If we push there, sometimes that'll hurt people too. Um, so this is where, kind of where you want to push if that's a problem. Then you can see where the nerve splits into the two branches as it goes on the foot. Two more nerves left. This is where the deep perineal nerve is, right at the base of the second and third metatarsal. And we'll tap on there or bang on that and see if there's a, any radiation or pain in that area. And then lastly, the tarsal tunnel area here. Uh, typical tarsal tunnel. There's the proximal tarsal tunnel, which would be here. The distal tarsal tunnel would be here. And then Baxter's nerve is basically right here. So I think we've covered... Uh, all the nerves that I want to check during a typical exam. There's a few other nerves that can certainly be problematic, like the sural and saphenous nerve, but those are the major ones that we can operate on and fix if they are in fact pinched. Uh, so you want to definitely have this checked out if you've been diagnosed with chronic compartment syndrome or any kind of nerve entrapment. Thank you.